Hello everybody, this is Mike and... Hi! That would be my cousin. <laughs> and as you all may know, I just got back from Norway, which is definitely the best trip that I've ever had so far. While I was in Norway, I bought all these Norwegian goodies. And Norway isn't cheap. All well, this probably could have cost about $175. But these $175 are going to be worth it, right? Hopefully. Okay, so... Let's start off with a quick lunch, which translates to quick lunch in Norwegian. And this is basically a Norwegian Kit Kat. Oh, that sounds awesome. As you can see, it's probably melted a little. That's what happens when you have to lug it around the airport all day. I'll have this one. You want this one? Uh, sure. Hmm. Tastes good. Yeah, it's a Kit Kat, right? Yeah. Next up we have Vepsible, Drops med Sutpulver, which would be drops with sour... This is going to be something sour, and it says it'll be strawberry. Okay. It's... I think you have to suck on these. Like a jawbreaker? Did you just bite into it? <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it! You taste the strawberry right away. Mm-hmm. Not very sour just yet. Ah. Are you okay? That was a bad idea. I don't think it was. I don't taste anything bad. Well, I got the sour, that's for sure. Yeah, me too. I don't even think it's the best strawberry thing in the world, to be honest. What do you think? It's not that bad. I taste worse. Non-stops. These are definitely going to be like M&M's. Or Skittles. It says they are dark chocolate, and I love dark chocolate. You like dark chocolate? Kinda. It seems like you'd be hard-pressed to find people who do. I like it. Here's what they look like. What have you got? An orange one. You got an orange one? Yeah. Does it taste like M&M's? Not really. It just tastes like dark chocolate. No, that's good dark chocolate. I think I'll have one more. See if I can find a red one. That's your favorite color. I think they also have these in milk chocolate for those who like that. I'm definitely going to use these for baking sometime. In the biscuits. They say that they don't have palm oil in them either. And these also melted a little. Yay. And are these stuck together or... Not my favorite. Tastes okay. I also got some normal Freya milk chocolate. Let's see, I got three little candy bars. I got one in roll form, and I got one with Oreos. Because you can't go wrong with those. Let's try these ones. Well, this one broke off, but at least it's not melted. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. It's kind of the same as the Marabo chocolate that I tried when I tried Swedish candy. It's still good. And this one has milk chocolate. Yep. Let's try one with Oreos. I taste the cookie crunch, but not the creamy. Yeah. Cheese doodles. I think these are Swedish, but let's try them anyway. They were certainly smaller than I was expecting. I was kind of expecting the full-blown Cheeto puff size. I taste nothing. Like, the Cheeto Puff just disappeared and like, it has no flavor. Really? People like these. Yeah, but I don't. It just has no flavor in it. I don't know, I think these taste like Cheetos. I want to eat them all though. Alright, we got, um, what translate to ships or licorice boats. Ugh, I don't like black licorice. You guys know how much I love black licorice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, here goes nothing. Are you okay? 
Well, I had to run downstairs to spit it up in a trash can. I don't know why I didn't bring a trash bag up here. What should we use to wash that horrible taste out of our mouths? I got three different kinds of these. I don't know if these are Norwegian or Scandinavian. They might be German, I don't know. They look like gum, but it says it is chewy candy. I got one orange, lemon, and raspberry. Certainly bigger than a stick of gum. Oh, I think, I think I know what these are probably like. They're like Laffy Taffies or something. I'm gonna go for orange next. Oh, this one's a little tougher to chew. Kinda. How about lemon? I'm not very good at peeling paper. It's still quite lemony. What did you say about these? These pop chocolate candies reminds me of those chocolate covered ice cream pops you get in the movie theater. Man, these are tiny. And wrinkly compared to what I was expecting. Hey, this is cool. I think I'm gonna have one more. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a couple more. Oh, I think I know what these might be like. Bunch of crunch. Have you had that? I also got some dime. I had dime when I tried Swedish candy, so there's no point in me trying that. Okay, I'll try it. Is this like a candy bar? Yeah, with toffee. What do you think? Tastes weird. You said it has toffee in it? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Gross. Now that I think about it, Stratos is kind of like an arrow bar. It even says bubbles of joy. It broke in two, but what do you expect? Definitely an arrow bar, though. It definitely tastes like one. Next we have bacon spore. Bacon chips? I believe so. It doesn't smell of bacon, though. Um, yeah, you're right. No bacon in there. What do you think? It's hard and cheesy. There's no cheese in here. Oh my god. <coughs> are you okay? Oh my god, that's disgusting. You tell me. Actually, you want to know what they are? What? Pork rinds. Ew. Laban Simon. I heard these are kind of popular. These things look like a knockoff version of the Sour Patch Kids. Well, I wouldn't say a knockoff, but can't tell what these are. What's yours? A uh, yellow one. You think you got a lemon one? Yeah. Probably the best thing on the table so far. Yeah. Don't taste any sour, so that's a good thing. They aren't supposed to be sour. So, love on Sigman or a keeper? I got a couple yop. They look like the packaging of a Mars bar, which would be kind of like our Milky Way. These didn't exactly hold up very well either. Yeah, everything about it just reeks of Mars bar. Actually, I think it's uh, slightly different from one. Yep, it's like a Milky Way. I'm not a big fan of the aftertaste, though. This next one is Top Priest. Milk chocolate filled with something rice and toffee. I thought this was going to be broken in two, but it actually comes in two. The more you know. It's definitely one of the nicer chocolates. Smash, which would be chocolate-covered bugles, I guess. You know what bugles are? No. That's like a corn chip. Oh. I also got it in bar form. You know, I was about to put some of these on my fingers like people did back in the 90s, but that probably wouldn't work. Hmm. These I had to get. I remember Cheeky Tam had these once, but didn't try them because they were all melted. But from the sound of the box, they're probably going to hold up. Delicious vanilla cream covered with dark chocolate. You know it's going to be good when it's in a... Gourmet box. Yay! They held up. You really missed out, Cheeky Tam. This might be the last one, Smeal, which is a... Uh, it's a chocolate with caramel or toffee. These things look like the one from the other candy bar. Except these are filled with caramel. Good caramel. Okay, so recording this video might have been kind of sloppy, but I hope you enjoyed it otherwise. And with that being said, this is Mike signing out. Bye, everyone!